What is it about the Charente melon that evokes such passion? Perhaps it's the heavenly fragrance of jasmine and apricot that captivates passers-by at markets. Or maybe it's the Charente's perfect texture and unparalleled sweetness and complexity. This melon was originally bred in the Charente region of West Central France in the 1920s. But the sweet softball-sized melon is synonymous with Cavaillon, the Provençal town in the heart of France's historical melon country. The melons of Cavaillon had a devoted following long before the Charente was perfected a hundred years ago. The soil and climate of Cavaillon in the Durance River Valley is perfect for growing cantaloupe. They've been cultivated there since at least the late 15th century, when King Charles VIII is believed to have brought back seeds from Rome. Renaissance painter Raphael Sanzio included melons in his famous frescoes at Villa Farnesina in Rome in the 16th century. Some historians think that melons were growing in the region well before that. Pope Clement V had moved the papacy from Rome to Avignon, France in the 14th century, and melons grew abundantly in papal gardens. In fact, cantaloupe was named for the summer papal country house in Cantalupo, Italy. French novelist Alexandre Dumas is said to have struck a deal with the mayor of Cavillon in 1864, providing the local library with copies of his novels including The Three Musketeers and The Count of Monte Cristo in exchange for an annual supply of melons. And in the 19th century, as train service opened up the French countryside to easier travel, people from far and near flocked to Cavillon for the fruit. Today, Cavillon is still celebrated as the mecca of Charente melon. A nine-ton statue of the fruit greets visitors at the edge of town. An annual melon festival draws thousands of Charente aficionados. It was the brainchild of chef Jean-Jacques Prévu, whose Michelin-starred restaurant celebrates the succulent melon in many of its dishes. The original open-pollinated Charente melon is smooth-skinned, small but variable in size, and has a fragrance of incomparable sweetness. They're finicky to grow and tricky to ship, so they fetch much higher prices in markets outside France. Most Charente melons grown today are a hybrid variety, with an embroidered rind and bred for a slightly longer shelf life. Perhaps the best Charente come from Cahors in south-central France. Grown on a limestone plateau using dry farming techniques, the melons must earn a special label. The rind gets almost white, as if taking on the color of the limestone-infused soil. The ripe melons are available only from mid-August to mid-September, making them a highly sought-after fruit. French cantaloupes and North American musk melons with their net-like rinds are related, but they're not the same variety. Charente melons are at their best when ripened in hot, dry days and cool nights. Try this French heirloom jewel in your garden, but go easy on the watering at the end of their growing cycle. Thanks so much for watching Seed Stories. We love bringing you the backstory on these amazing varieties. Be sure to click the subscribe button so you won't miss a single episode.